So we don't know what the day holds, but we're moving forward. We're going to invite some people over. They are testing the fire alarms today, so it could be a little awkward with all the loud noises. But we're still going to invite them to come use our home and relax and shower. And I've got the crock pot going with pork and veggies. And, and uh, so, yeah, let's head on into town. We've got to get some banking done and some business and uh, then we're gonna go see our friends on the home the homeless friends and uh, we're gonna go from there one step at a time my friends what I'm always recording I'm a daily vlogger it's what I do. Enough. <laughs> Why is it cold? It's cold out? No. Okay, well, it's time to rock and roll because we're headed into town and uh, I don't know what the day holds, but we'll see, we'll keep you informed. We're on the road, my friends, and uh, here's the thing. We don't really have a plan, other than I believe that this is the beginning of something that I'm gonna do more often, and that is to open up our home. You know the saying, mi casa su casa. My home is your home, my house is your house, and I did talk to some of my homeless friends last week and we did say that Monday I would have them over uh, for a nice warm home cooked meal, which I have cooking, I prepared myself, and offer them a bath, a shower, you know, we're going to get a couple gift cards, you know, some Tim Hortons cards and a gift card. Uh, there's one guy who lives in his van, his name is John and hopefully he's around today because he needs to soak his foot. He's got a foot problem there. But right now we're headed into town and it's, it's like, I don't know how it's gonna turn out other than we've gotta go do some banking, uh, get some business done and thank the big guy upstairs because I'm gonna be getting uh, my own cell phone today and that's an answer to prayer. And also some good news is I've been asked to work the graveyard shift at a local coffee shop making donuts. So I start Tuesday at 11 o'clock at night and I work till seven in the morning. So that's another answer to prayer. You know, thank the big guy upstairs because you know what? If you believe that everything happens for a reason, everything happens for a purpose, then you don't need to live all anxious or even depressed because things will happen in life and then you don't let those steal your joy or your peace you just trust that they're happening to you for a reason and sometimes it's terrible things and I know about terrible things I know about losing loved ones people dying you know I, I know about the pain of addiction I know about being stabbed in the back by somebody I know about Unfortunately, I know about suicide. I know about infertility. I know about divorce. I know about abuse. I know about all kinds of dark and terrible things that happen in this world because I've experienced many of those things. And so what I want to tell you is that there is hope and that there is a better day ahead for you and for me. And I think while we're in the middle of, of whatever it is that's going on in our lives, we take the life that's breathed into us through our family, through our friends, through music, through social community groups. I mean, whatever it is, sports, painting, singing, acting, I don't care what it is. Whatever breathes life into you, that is an amazing thing. But your life journey doesn't stop there. You need to turn around now and ruah, breathe life out into others. This world is broken. Sometimes it's very depressing. And sometimes all a person needs is a smile, a hug, a handshake, a little eye contact. Sometimes it's, it's worth giving a toonie or a loonie. 
or inviting somebody to your house for a nice warm home cooked meal. Let them put their feet up and rest, especially those who live on the streets. So my friends, I'm gonna sign off here because in a few minutes we'll be headed into town and we gotta do some running around. I love you. I have no idea what today is gonna look like, but I trust it's gonna be for the good and it's gonna inspire and bring hope to at least one person and hopefully more. Peace out, Ruah Nation. Hi everybody, it's Frederick here. We're in town and I stopped to see my homeless friends and I visit with Tisha, you know, give her some chocolate bars and some juice and granola bars, give her a few bucks. And, uh, you know, I went back to see if my other homeless friends were there, Stevie and Wanda and, you know, no Donnie, no Jamie. So I had offered them uh, an opportunity to come to my place on Monday. They picked Monday, you know, just to come and shower up at our place. And uh, I have uh, pork roast, and veggies and everything cooking at home. But as you can see, the sun is out and it looks like a beautiful day, you know, and a lot of the homeless people, you know, they have their routine. And when it's the weather's nice like this, you know, they, they, they've they got people to see and places to go as well. And a lot of them are picking bottles today. So I'm just gonna go take one more drive by, uh, by the bottle depot to see if I see any of my homeless friends. And if I see some people, I'm just gonna hand out some more juice boxes and granola bars. But uh, right now it doesn't look like uh, they're gonna be able to come and enjoy a nice meal because they're not around. And I think that's the thing. It is a little bit awkward because a complete stranger invites you to their house, you know, come over and use the bathroom and stuff. And, you know, I think the thing is the bylaw officer and the police officer that drove by, you know, they don't want them panhandling for bottles or anything out on that street. So they were asked to move already this morning and they were warned with a citation, you know, and, you know, they can end up getting ticketed $500 if they show up back at that spot to panhandle for bottles. So, I mean, it's just a sad story, but I'm gonna take another drive down there. And uh, if not, that's where we're at. And I'm gonna keep trying, I, you don't just give up. And uh, the thing that I've been thinking about is that, you know, these are people. They're not projects for my YouTube channel, you know? And that's the key is to think that, you know, I want to, you know, toot my horn because I'm helping the homeless people. Well, you know what? Quite often, a lot of what we do, nobody ever knows. and. I don't want to just come out and videotape them without asking them, you know, but uh, I keep going out every day that I come into town. I take a drive down the bottle depot and I hand out food and drinks and a couple bucks and sometimes cigarettes. So right now I'm just going to go down there and uh, we'll see if anything happens. Okay. It's, look at that. It's beautiful. The trees, the snow is melting. Man springs in the air the sun is shining yesterday it was blowing snow you know and i think the biggest thing is that nothing ever works out the way you plan it you know it's like i wanted to do something special for my homeless friends for stevie and for wanda donnie jamie john now i met randy today i haven't seen dan or mike these are my friends that live on the streets in and out of uh, ministries and the mission and in from the cold, different different places they go if they can get a bed. But a lot of times they just sleep outside. And so I went and I hung out and spent some time with John today and Randy. I spent time with Tisha, I said earlier. You know, and I gave him a few bucks and you know, on seven or eight bucks, chocolate bars, granola bars, orange juice, apple juice, you know, just trying to make sure he had some food and gave him a few cigarettes there. And the thing is, I had made food and stuff for him at home and it doesn't just magically happen. And see, that's the thing. I really want my YouTube channel to be my life story, but at the same time, my life story touches other people's lives. You know, and I'd like to show you guys that. So I believe that slowly you'll be able to start seeing. And uh, honestly, I was really tired today, but I said to the big guy upstairs, I said, you decide. And they didn't feel like coming out today. So we decided Friday, I'm gonna make some pulled pork sandwiches from the roast that I have cooking right now. 
and I'm going to bring those sandwiches in for them. And uh, you know what? When the time's right, I just want some of these people that I'm meeting, that I'm becoming friends with. I go and I hang out. I drink coffee. You know, I visit with them. And, and we're getting, we're on a first name basis. And I think that's the cool thing is the barriers. People always seem to have an agenda. And I don't want to have an agenda to interview people for my YouTube channel. The agenda is I want to show love genuine compassion and kindness and so today I got to introduce my wife to some of my homeless friends and uh, they think she's amazing especially for sticking through everything that I put her through you know I haven't been a perfect guy by any means but I am better than I was yesterday you know and if I can spread a little hope into other people's lives that's me breathing life into them I get life breathed into me through you guys through comments you know, there's people that have helped support, pay a couple bills that I couldn't afford, you know, and that breathes life into me. The stuff I read this morning, even my prayer life breathes life into me. But I have a responsibility to turn that around and breathe life into other people. And, you know, that's the cool part about life. You're not supposed to live it alone. This is a journey you're supposed to walk hand in hand together. People helping people. So until next time, let's go home, have a little nap. Uh, finish the food I was making and I'm gonna edit some videos and I'm gonna put them up there and everything from me becoming the world's greatest storyteller yes I have become an actor I'm doing theater I'm trying to get into TV and film I got an agent those videos are coming so spread the word man this is a Canadian YouTube vlogger and I'm just starting out I don't even have 30 subscribers yet but that's cool this is the grassroot phase I love you guys. I'll see you soon. God bless. Remember, Ruah is the breath of life. And we're changing the world one video at a time, one story at a time, one moment at a time, and most importantly, one person at a time.